Loading bars are a way to let the user know that the panorama or object is loading. We provide a basic loading bar for your use that can be customized, or you can build one from scratch, and this is what we'll do in this tutorial. Open the Skin Editor by going to Tools, Skin Editor. First, set up your workspace. I don't need a lot of space to work, but I do want my bar to be 10 pixels high, so I'll change the grid size to 10, and I'll zoom in to 200%. Using the rectangle tool, draw the full length of the bar. I want this loading bar to grow in length from left to right, and this will be done with scaling, so the first parameter to change is the anchor for scaling. In the rectangle panel, I'll change the background and border colors. With the background being transparent, and the corners slightly rounded. Next, I'll add text above the bar. Using the text box tool, I'll draw a box sufficiently long enough to hold the text in one line. Here, I can use simple HTML tags and placeholders. Placeholders are used to call up certain aspects of the project. For instance, in this project, I can use the system placeholder $P to show how much the image has loaded as a percentage. You can find a list of all the placeholders in our documentation. In the rectangle panel, I'll disable the background and set the border to zero to remove it. In the text panel, I'll change the text color and alignment. To see how the loading bar is coming along, you can use the live preview. Now that I have all the elements set, I'll add them to a container by drawing over them with the container tool. In the position panel, I'll change the container's name to something more meaningful. I want to make sure that the loading bar is always in the center, so I'll anchor the container there. Only the parent element needs to be anchored to the skin, and child elements should be anchored to the default top left to avoid any problems. Once the image is loaded, the loading bar needs to disappear on its own. Bring up the action settings and use loaded as the source and hide element as the action. Its target is itself. Because I'm using a container, I only have to apply these show and hide actions to the container instead of all the elements. The last adjustment is to make the bar increase in length according to the amount loaded. Make sure the loading bar is selected, and in the Modifiers panel, open the Modifier Settings and choose Scale X for the target. This will ensure the bar scales along its x-axis. The source will be loading, and the factor and offset can stay at their defaults. Make any last adjustments and save the skin. Then output a project to see how it works. If you're lucky to have a fast internet connection, you might not see the loading bar. So you can throttle the loading in the integrated web server. If you have a panorama tour or link multiple object movies, you may want the loading bar to show itself for each node. To do this, just add one more action to the container. Click the plus symbol here to add a new action, and then choose Reload as the source and Show Element as the action.